This is an underground hacker forum. It's where cyber criminals get together and talk about malware, talk about different tradecraft, different attacks, and they buy and sell tooling and hacker frameworks. This is exploit.in, and we're gonna snoop around. Exploit.in is available on the clearnet. You can get to it with whatever web browser, but it does also have a dark web, Tor hidden service, and v3 onion URL. So you can access it just as well there. Take a look at all the different like bulletin boards or the categories that you can get into, hacking and security, malware, war driving and blue jacking, social engineering, money, of course, tools, things that you might be able to do for programming, web development, of course, hardware and software, and legal issues, legal businesses, and commerce. This section is where it gets to the good stuff because it is the buying and selling, the industry, the marketplace, and the enterprise of cybercrime. And by the way, this is a big forum. Like, this is one of the top places that cyber criminals go to. You hear a lot about XSS.is, but exploit.in is pretty high up there just as well for cybercrime and hacking. Like, look at this. There are 60,000 total members. They've had the most online ever at one time, like over 100,000. Forum statistics, 211. 7,000 total topics. And what is it? Total posts. It's like a million. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They have a who's online section. Like you can see all of the active online users and what they're viewing. Like where in the forum are they up to? I think I saw like Lockbit in here for a second. Look, this guy's name is delete the NSA. <laughs> Big, long list. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, Lockbit is right in here. Lockbit. Oh, oh, they have John DiMaggio's profile picture still. Oh my goodness. Marked as a seller. Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, find their content. Chatting about the Lockbit Black Builder that was leaked out previously in September, saying thanks for advertising what they're up to. I also live in the USA and have not yet been caught. I hope they will never catch me. Uh, that's an interesting one. <laughs> that's in the Juicy Arrests thread. Uh, we could spend a ton of time just exploring, looking around, seeing all the different things there are to see over on exploit.in, this cyber crime hacking forum. But I want to show you a little bit about their rules, their code of conduct. By the way, the ads on this thing are like wild. Buy a black sniffer, a uh, high success rate of different exploits. It's just kind of craziness. <laughs> All right, here is the about exploit.in site and forum. Let's go take a look. Can I get this page as English, please? I don't speak this language. Obviously, this is all kind of pushed through translate because I don't speak Russian. All right, here we go. General rules of the forum exploit.in. When registering, it's forbidden to use logins with mats and obscene words. That's surprising. Actually, you know, this is pretty dumb. Obviously, like, oh, the rules of conduct are interesting in that, you know what? It's forbidden to insult, provoke, be rude to other folks. Um, but, like, this is a cybercrime forum. You'd think people are just running wild, going crazy. Oh, they have other rules for different sections here. And I'm curious, you know what? We should just probably dive into the marketplace here. Let's go down to that. Obviously, there's some sections on malware. Hey, folks discussing what they can do for social engineering etc. Oh, legal section's got to be interesting. Ways of money laundering. Oh, and by the way, if it isn't clear, obviously, again, all of this is for like education's sake. It's just for seeing what is out there, having that awareness. I don't mean to be by any means encouraging or emboldening any of this cybercrime hacks uh, stuff that does all that in that world. Don't want to be a part of that. You shouldn't either. So don't. Do not participate in auctions if you are not sure of your capabilities. <laughs> so the buying section is insane. It has almost 500,000 posts, and obviously you can get into anything here, right? Whether it's just, oh, social networks that you might have accounts and access to, of course, access on its own to different servers, hey, maybe different websites, maybe different endpoints, and malware on its own tooling and hacker frameworks. So you know what? Let's see what's for sale. Let me go check into some of the access available here. Not all of this uh, translated here. Working with sets, Active Directory and Domain Controllers, Finding Shells, cPanel, okay, some RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, installing some sniffers on your store, selling a database access, buying Israel Network access. Not gonna touch that one, let's move on. Looking for corporate email access. I'll give percentage or dollars here, turn email access into dollars, corporate ads only. Amount is high. PM me your contacts info and I'll add you. Buying from $1 for forum rules? Wow. Ooh, what is this? Gold Brute Botnet. Most powerful RDP brute force and scan. Oh, checking out that one. 81 replies. That one looks a little bit popular here. Gold Brute is an RDP or remote desktop protocol brute forcing tool coded in Java and Rust. Gold Brute allows you to brute and scan from several servers simultaneously, making it the most powerful RDP bruter up to date. I know some 
some of you out there might say like, oh, initial access via open RDP accessible from the internet? What is this, like 2005? I get your point, but seriously, that still happens, like all the time. This is being sold from Sleezer, and uh, it looks like they're banned. <laughs> yeah, they got banned. <laughs> Look at the pricing here. A lifetime license is just $300. Add-ons, hey, maybe set up the service, a couple passwords and usernames that you could grab for just $50. Look at these customer testimonials here. Hey, I did business, quick response, good communication. It's not the prettiest thing, but it did work as intended. I'm satisfied with the results. Okay. <laughs> I am especially curious about some of maybe the database dumps that are for sale and available over on exploit.in. Look at this, I wanna buy a fresh email database. Holy cow, AWS, SES, Office 365, and Rackspace. I know Rackspace was certainly having a bad time some time ago. Inbox Reaper, automated intelligence searching for keywords. Crystal Bomber, the fastest email bomber in the world, up to 7,000 emails per minute. Where are the leaks though? Are there any different, hey, uh, maybe data Database is dumped. Oh, okay. Indonesia, 17 million base. Goodness gracious. Indonesia, 17 million, 2023. National identity number, name, address, gender, phone number, date of birth. $3,000. Hit me up on Telegram. And no responses to this. That's still sketch. Selling business leads. What is that? Oh, I think this was a very old uh, post. Yeah, 2021. I'm still business leads for different countries depending on what industry you need. Oh, okay. Emails and names and businesses there. Uh, edit that out. <laughs> this just goes on and on. They just do it again. Another. They just keep posting these. Below is an example of the aviation industry. I'm pretty sure that that one says looking for kidney donations. Um... And like, that's the contact name. Under the contact email, contact title, and company, um, Office 365 US college student emails, their EDU accounts. Holy cow. This is an excerpt from the dumps from the legal industry in the United Kingdom. And you know what? This is actually kind of interesting because all this is at least being kind of sampled and giving you a little bit of a showcase for free in these pictures. And like, Flare, who is the sponsor of this video, thank you so much, Flare pulls in data from exploit.in as a source and their new image recognition capability, the new features that they have where you can see all the graphics and PNG, whatever, image files are associated with the posts and their OCR and optical character recognition can still trigger on maybe your name or your business, your company, any of the information that you want not exposed and out on the internet or in the dark web, that can help track it down for you even in an example like this. Let me show it to you in action because Flare has this beautiful new dark mode and a gorgeous new dashboard where you can see your threat exposure and risk all at a glance. You can even see it over time. Like, hey, check it out. Here's your exposure score evolution, maybe for your specific tenant or identifiers for your company, your business, your domain and organization. And here is your exposure profile, kind of broken down into different categories. Scrolling down, you can see, oh, how many recent events are coming through by different sources for your specific identifiers and where they came from. And look, I've got some identifiers set and created for myself, for my company, organization, and business. And I even have some for random somewhere, right? Say if I went into events, look, I do this for security research to see what's going on in the industry. I'll have to blur out a lot of this because I don't want to show any real or recent ransomware compromises, but let me toggle the tenant to just my organization. Hey, just John Hammond here, and I'm gonna change the dates because I wanted to go look in the past, let's say August. Now let me toggle this to the global search and I can go ahead and specify, look, I want any events that come from the source of the exploit.in forum. And with that, I can go ahead and search in that given date range and see all of the interesting events. Now, none of the identifiers for myself or my organization match. Thankfully, hey, no one's chatting about me over on exploit.in yet yet, but here you can see some of the chatter. Hey, threat actors wanting to buy some data, maybe some access to Taiwan institutions, okay? Maybe US credit cards for sale. Hey, RDP access to Australia workstations. Oh, holy cow, this has 52 mixed countries, passports and IDs. We can go take a look. Are there any of the content information here that's worthwhile to see? With that, we have the link to the post so I can go ahead and go navigate to it if I wanted to. And there's plenty more here. Take a look, Australia pack, oh goodness, 100 pack passport, real document leaked. This cyber criminal is selling a large number of Australian national passports, new and unused documents. Um, well, okay, let me say, I think I misspoke here. It looks like a lot of the image pulling and actual that new feature and capability is from Telegram, but we can still go to this page. We can still go access this thread because we have that link, right? 
Take a look back over on exploit.in, going to go view this thread in the Australia pack of 100 passports, real documents leaked from August 25th. A lot of the communication, the negotiation, the buying and selling, the sale and marketplace can still be on Telegram, but a lot of that information is still going to be pulled in by Flare, including exploit.in and tons of different cybercrime forums. And oh my goodness, okay, look at that. That's a boatload of passports. Uh, that'll still be images that are going to have their OCR pulled in and visible with Flare. If you are interested in how Flare can help with your cyber threat intelligence and your exposed attack surface and threat risk management, take a look, link in the video description. Let's go take a look at the malware section, what they have for sale over in the little marketplace here. Uh, because you know, I think for some videos, potentially in the future, we should just try to get our hands on one of these. Cause it's one thing to just, oh, scroll around, poke fun at them. But if we can get our hands on it and play with it, see what it does, see what it's made up of, see how it happens. Like Luma C2, right? We see that all the time. We hear about it all the time. Local privilege escalation exploits. Those would be cool to kind of kick the tires and see if they even work. Are they worth whatever money they're actually being sold for? White snake, stealer for APT attacks. Wait, didn't we see this in the Telegram channel? I feel like we did. Yeah. Windows stub in C sharp, fast execution and memory can steal. Okay. And grab any info from other applications like your different web browsers and wallets. So info stealer functionality and different payloads that are available. Of course, Hey, maybe Linux. So it's cross platform just as well. Oh, and it even has a builder. I think we saw some pictures of this. Yeah. Yeah. We saw the telegram bot and account and how you could exfiltrate out to telegram. <laughs> you can view the victim steam profile. Cool. Cool. Yeah, see what games they're playing. Check out their Modern Warfare 3 ranking. And oh, a passwords tab. Yeah, you can dig into and see what they might have been able to steal. That's so crazy. Credit cards and autofill. Yeah, we a thousand percent saw them uh, over in the Telegram video, the most recent one. Here they're showcasing some of their updates, clean static detections. <laughs> No, seriously. <laughs> so look, obviously a lot of that was kind of surface level. Hey, we didn't do a whole lot of deep dive and we just kind of wanted to do some dumpster diving, see what's available, see what's out there on exploit.in, that hacker forum, that cyber crime, little bulletin board and see what threat actors are up to, what they're buying and selling, what's available and what information is out there that maybe we should be aware of, especially if it includes our information, our organization, our business, our company. With that said, seriously, you can grab a free trial of Flare. It is literally free. The link in the video description. You can kick the tires, see what information is out there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was a little bit of a fun safari ride and I'll see you in the next video.